Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, welcome to the. <laughs> this is just dumb. Anyways, welcome to the Unfunny Podcast, uh, hosted by the one and only, the guy, the man, the vets man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just bullshitting you. I mean, is there any way I can make you guys cringe within the first five minutes of this stupid whatever I'm calling this podcast? Anyways, yeah, the name of the podcast is called Unfunny. Because I'm just doing your job for you. I mean, you don't have to spend your precious precious time and go down the comments to say, well, this is not funny. So I just did your job for you there. Anyways, you know, considering what's happening with the damn pandemic and all these other things that are happening all over the country and all over the damn world, um, I figured you're probably running out of things to watch on Netflix or Showmax or, well, who am I kidding? Yeah, uh, pad lockers and one, two, three movies. You guys, you guys, you guys are stealing people's films. You're streaming illegally. So I figured, you know, yeah, you're running out of things to watch. So I was like, you know what? I think people want uh, to know a channel that has been active at Vits for like, what, close to 10 years now. They probably want to know what is this guy up to, right? Considering that probably the people that watched the very first video I made are not even in vids right now. But anyways, anyways. So yeah, I decided, let me make an, a drastically unfunny podcast, appropriately named by me. <laughs> this is just dumb. But anyways, um, yeah, thanks to the five people that are listening right now. Um, I'm kidding. I mean, at least I have about 500 subscribers, which is not bad right but who am i kidding anyways yeah so I've, I've decided to make this damn podcast and uh i'm glad you guys are listening to this nonsense right now and i hope you're safe just like i am i mean i'm recording this in a cave some way um <laughs> that would suck because actually there was a fucking train making noise yeah so but anyways <clears throat> yeah so the basically i mean the first episode of this podcast, uh, I've just decided that, um, yeah, I'm going to walk you through, uh, you know, like the making of this channel, basically, the very first video. Uh, yeah, which was something that was just a bit weird for Res Life, I guess, at the time, <clears throat> because no one has ever done something so dumb before and so stupid. Um, but yeah, um, I mean, if this is... If it works out and if it's well received, I'll probably make another episode and bore the hell out of you guys. But I mean, come on, it's not like you have anything better to do. You're not doing your assignments or studying or doing your research right now. You're just browsing YouTube and listening to music. So you might as well listen to this nonsense. <laughs> that is this damn podcast of some guy who has been making shitty videos for almost 10 years, you know, talking to himself doing a podcast by himself, but anyways, I'm not saying it's, it's original, but anyways, yeah, so, yeah, I think I should walk you through, um, excuse me, I was breaking something there, um, yeah, so I should walk you through the beginnings of this uh, channel, you know, uh, yeah, building up to the very first video and to, to the last video of the channel, um, Anyways, yeah, I mean, the first video, I did it in 2014. If you guys are fans of the channel, the video, um, it was, um, yeah, it, it was a, a reaction to <laughs> the the feud between EOH and Nokendo. I mean, Nokendo, the story, you know what, the, what do they call this thing? The facts are mixed up, right? But what happened is Nokendo and EOH ended up having a party at the same day. Which, if you're anyone from Vits, you know, it's not a good idea. Well, at the time, it was not a good idea to, you know, host a party the same day as EOH. Because, I mean, 2014, 2015, 16, those guys, they were known on campus for hosting the best parties. They always had the best lineup and all that. Anyways. So, yeah, Nokendo, like, in September, this the second party. Um, they had a foam party, but they had it the same day as EOH. So... Yeah, you can imagine what happened afterwards. <laughs> a lot of people went to UH. The Knox phone party was boring. Um, I was staying at Nokendo at the time. And surprise, surprise, 
I was doing my first year. Yeah, believe it or not. So I went through the damn all week nonsense that they do. Um, but for me, it wasn't that bad because, I mean, I just got back. I just came from boarding school, which they had a very terrible, they had terrible initiation practices. But anyways, yeah, so Nakendo hosts a party the same day as your age. And I get pissed because these people during all week, they were preaching this thing that, you know, oh, yeah, you know, Nakendo is great. Uh, there was this whole essentialism happening, you know, that, oh, yeah, Nokendo, it's the oldest race, it's the best, you know, and EOH and men's race, ah, oh, they're nothing, they're full of gays and junction, they have cool kids, you know. So they were just preaching all of this nonsense and all of this homophobia and all that. But anyways, <clears throat> so, yeah, the party sucks. And then, you know, just like we're doing right now, you know, bored and browsing YouTube. Yeah, I was browsing YouTube and then, I mean, I always had interest in film and comedy and all that nonsense. So, yeah, I'm browsing this other day and I stumbled upon these um, parodies online, you know, uh, these Hitler parodies from the movie The Downfall, right? I watched this film, these, these parodies, they're the funniest things ever. And then I talked to my roommate. I'm like, hey, man, <laughs> What if I could make a parody about the fact that our race fucked up a party? You know, they had a party the same day as you, which, which no one admits knows, um, which everyone admits knows that you shouldn't do, you know. And he just doesn't get it. So I download the video. I put in subtitles like, of course, that takes forever. So but I put subtitles like halfway through the video and I call the guys at my block. They watch the video and these guys just go crazy. They keep laughing at this. They keep laughing at this. And then I'm just like, no, I'm not going to, I don't have a YouTube channel. I'm not going to post this nonsense. So they're like, no, no. Yeah. Finish the video. Finish the video. Make, let's watch it. Finish the video. So I finished the video. These guys are like, you have to post this. You have to post this. So yeah, <laughs> I posted uh yeah it goes up online but i was fearing for my life because i was a first year and i'm shitting on house committee of my own residence and I, basically the video was just shitting on everyone you know but i mean I, I had the balls to do that because i think a month before that there was an arc arc all residents council or something yeah they had a talent show so we me and a couple of those guys who said I should post a video. We actually auditioned there and they liked our audition, but we did a video that needed to use a projector at the Great Hall. But, you know, they, I don't know, somebody forgot to book the projector, all that stuff. So we couldn't play our video during the talent show. So we were all just always mad about that. And we were like, fuck, we're gonna get these guys because I mean, they just screwed us over because, you know, <laughs> we're first years. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so, Ever since, we have just been angry that, you know, ugh, you know, if you're not a house committee or if you're first year or if you don't belong in certain circles, you can never get to do anything on campus. So when the chance came, these guys were like, yeah, this video, let's let's make this video to, you know, to say fuck you to everybody that pissed us off. And then, yeah, that's what we did. And then, <laughs> yeah, I know it's 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 crazy. So the video. Of course, I mean, it had a positive response. People were just, you know, laughing at it. And the fact that it was making fun of everybody, Junction, Man's Rays, EOH, Nokendo, you know. And also, because I was so dumb at the time, I thought, yeah, if I can do that, if I can make fun of everyone else, they won't know which Rays did it come from. But of course, I mean, the language that was used in the video, it was typically the same language that was being used in Nokendo. So, and the other thing, I mean, that, contribu that contributed to the success of the channel is um, the page, Vets Crushes. I mean, at the time, I think it was still new or something. So, um, yeah, um, we, we would post our links there. They would share them. They didn't have a problem. And there was no Vets Just Kidding at the time. There was Vets Comic. And I knew the guy uh, who did Vets Comic. Uh, he would, he would, I think he was my roommate's classmate or something. So they would do coding and all of that stuff together. 
So when I found out that he's the guy doing Vets Comic, I was like, yeah, man, what do you think of, you know, this video that I just posted? And yeah, and he was like, yeah, you know what? I think you should make something else, you know, make another video. Uh, people seem to like the parody that you made. So, you know, you can have a channel and all that nonsense. So, yeah, I mean, I thought about it and then, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I made the second video, you know. And of course, the second video was the one um, about the vet's timetable. Because, I mean, of course, we all know how ridiculous the timetable gets, especially the end of the year timetable. You know, you can write three exams in one week, all of that bullshit. So, yeah, I was like, exactly. I mean, what is the most relevant thing at the time? So, yeah, it was the vet's timetable, you know. And of course, also that year, end of 2014, I think, um, it was kind of the establishment and the rise of EFF on campus. And if you watch that video, there's a part where uh, the main protagonist, of course, which is Hitler, right, who is saying, oh, you know what, since no one can help me with my timetable, I think I should go and talk to the guys with, with like the red overalls on campus and all that. And everybody freaks out because... I mean, at the time, the beginning of EFF, everyone was like, oh, these people, they're just anarchists. They want to cause chaos. They want to, you know, demolish and destruct everything and all that nonsense. So I was also trying to reflect how people were reacting towards EFF on campus. And, you know, I mean, those guys, oh, shit, they, <laughs> everybody just, you know, they, they had it really, it was very difficult for them. I mean, management was against them. Students didn't like them. You know, it was really hard for those guys. There's, there's even a video where I made, actually, whereby I was responding to a, um, I think the organization itself was suspended, but it was later discovered that they were suspended based on a rule that is not even effective it was a rule that expired or got you know updated long time ago but anyways so yeah the timetable video you know yeah it was talking about that and um and actually it's the most viewed video on the channel which i guess makes sense because i mean the first video it it made so much sense if you were someone who was staying at res it was really you know rooted in res life culture so the timetable one, I mean, everybody can relate to that. Everyone always thinks their timetable is full of shit. So, oh yeah, by the way, disclaimer, strong language. Sorry. I mean, if you have seen videos on the channel, you know that it's all about, you know, ranting and all that nonsense and strong language. So anyways, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, the timetable video is the most viewed video. Um, and I like it as well. I really do, actually. Um, so, yeah, those two videos, <laughs> believe it or not, uh, in that year, in 2014, they were, I guess, good enough um, for me to be actually called by the SRC of, that was supposed to organize a week for 2015. I got an email. They were like, hey, we like your videos. Would you like to be our media guy for a week? And I was like, what the hell? Really? Anyways, I'm not a photographer. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just a guy who makes stupid YouTube videos. But anyways, yeah, they, I went, I had a meeting with them like end of November. And yeah, surprise, surprise. I mean, 2015, I handled their advertising, their marketing and all that stuff. I was the subcommittee of the media, uh, PMC, right? Projects Management and Campaign or something for a week in 2015. And it, it was quite an experience. It was great. Um, yeah. So, I mean, after that, I was like, oh, shit, this is pretty cool. I mean, I didn't know these two stupid videos uh, could actually, you know, land me a gig like that. But anyways, yeah. So I started, that's when I started taking the, the channel seriously, you know. Anyway, I'm drinking juice, yeah. But because... You guys are fans of this damn channel. Maybe I should, I should drink something stronger so that this can progressively get worse and stupid. All right. Anyways. Yeah. So I started taking the channel seriously. And then, um, 
yeah, I did another video. <laughs> uh, what, what was it? I think the third video was like, what? Cost never loved us or all that stuff. Uh, basically, it was just a... At, at the time, we just didn't know what the hell to do. And then it was just like a fantasy storyline because end of the year, you know how people always complain about, oh, cost is chowing, cost is chowing, all of that stuff. So I was just like, ugh, you know what? I think it would be really interesting if course <laughs> could actually be in human form and all that you know imagine what people would do to that guy you know if they could like meet this guy because yeah he's made a lot of people's lives miserable um but anyways yeah it was about that and uh the video actually i think it had three guys um wearing masks there yeah, so those guys were the guys I was staying at Nokendo with. And I mean, they had a major contribution to the establishment of the channel because I just wanted to make those videos to entertain them. And they were like, no, no, put them on YouTube, you know. So, yeah, that's... But of course, <laughs> we had to come up with a name like seconds before the video could go up. So, yeah, I think one of them suggested, you know, yeah... Just say fits man or whatever you know so yeah we did that um but of course i mean when i started seeing the the reaction and the response and to quote the great julius malema the viewership you know when i saw the viewership chief i could see that oh, you know what people are responding pretty positively to this to this stuff you know so i that's when i i, I also wanted to yeah, to, to kind of reflect uh, what, what, what is affecting us as students. Because, I mean, I was also getting affected by a lot of things as well. Um, but, of course, I wanted to do it in a very comedic and satirical manner. Because I'm full of shit. So, you know, yeah. Um, so the next video that I did, uh, it was when um, Hitler gets, you know, chowed by Nesfus and all that. In the beginning of the video, he talks about how he has plans, you know, all these plans, you know, to, you know, do whatever he wants on campus. He wants to hit ladies, all that nonsense. Typical stuff that, you know, the, the same bullshit that they preach to you when you get to raise, you know. Because I was also trying to kind of make fun of that, that these guys, they preach all of this nonsense to you as if, oh, yeah, this is like res life gospel, you know. And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I totally understand why res initiation culture is changing drastically. I mean, most of that stuff today, the stuff that I went through in 2014, I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's, it, it was totally sexist, misogynistic and, you know, whatever politically correct term you can put to it, you know, it, it was like that. I mean, most of it was nonsense also. But yeah, I understand that. So I also wanted to make fun of that because I also felt like, but this is just bullshit. I mean, why are we made to take all of this nonsense seriously? You know. But anyways, yeah. So, you, you know, yeah, the guy is talking about how, you know, yeah, he has plans, blah, 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 all that stuff. But what I was trying to portray in the video is how, I mean, beginning of each year, we all have plans and how they get dismantled. Especially if you were someone who was using Nespas. I mean, Nespas at the time, it's when they still handled applications from institutions, not the, not the way it is now. So, you know, yeah. And of course, I mean, the video, I don't know, even though it's like a parody or a comedy video, but, you know, yeah, it, 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 it kind of touched on a lot of student issues, you know, students dropping out because they don't have funding, homelessness because people don't have funding excuse me because they want to continue you know students going hungry and also that video at the time in 2015 it coincided with the one million one month campaign so yeah and it's also when i was still you know um soc subcommittee so yeah in terms of marketing that campaign and raising money and all that all that stuff. Uh, so the video was trying to just shed light on the Nesfos crisis that was happening at the time. People getting rejected, people not having funding, you know. But of course, I had to put a certain, you know, comedic twist. <laughs> comedic and inverted commas, right? <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, I mean, this is the unfunny podcast, so this not none of this is meant to be funny. Anyways, um, yeah. So yeah, I, I guess I started taking the the, the the channel seriously. I mean, because people were just watching and subscribing, and um, well, I suppose also, I mean, we kind we because those guys they really help, but I mean. Uh, I, I guess I also kind of introduced a different kind of comedy because Vets Comic was like the foundation, the like the the beginning of it, of like memes and all that, you know. So it was just different because it was just parodies. It was just all the ignorant views <laughs> of everyone on campus put together in a video, right? Yeah, because if you watch those videos, of course it's like. Yeah, there's people saying, well, we don't do this, we can do that, and all that nonsense, you know. But anyways, so the next video, <laughs> because I wanted to, you know, to lean towards uh, current campus events. Because I figured, I mean, if I'm going to do something, a video about some issue that no one knows about, who the fuck is going to watch that video? Because I don't even have Twitter or Instagram or whatever you guys use. Anyways, so yeah. I, uh, Tebo, I think, was the president at the time, right? He said something about admiring Hitler and his skills, whatever, whatever bullshit. So there was a lot of controversy. And I was like, this is great. <laughs> this is great. You know? Um, yeah. So I made a video. I was like, I was just, I was just thinking, yeah, how would Hitler respond to this guy? <laughs> Saying, you know, yeah, he admires him. What a bold statement, you know. Anyways, yeah, so from all this controversy and all that, um, I tried to make fun of how also the media was acting as if, oh my God, there's total panic and chaos at Vets because this guy said this. People are offended, really, like seriously. He's just an SLC president. But anyways, I mean, you could see in the video, uh, there's, an SL, there's a lecturer there, who goes crazy and says, oh, you know, the, the university cannot allow people to say these things and all that nonsense. And, uh, yeah, you know. And then I think at the end of the video, there's a part where Hitler is like, well, did this guy really, like, have to cause all of this? He could have just sent me an email. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, because I, I, it's also because, you know what, fuck that guy. Yeah, it's, it's because I also felt like, ugh, you know what, this guy at that time, it, it felt like he was constantly trying to be on the news all the time or on everyone's lips, you know, because it was like some things are just unnecessary. Some things they look like, hey, you know, you just want immediate attention, but hey, you never know. You never know. Besides, yeah, th that's what the channel is meant to do. It's It, it bullshits. So, yeah, I was bullshitting. I was bullshitting. And also, I mean, yeah, I also tried to, you know, make fun of the guy's arrogance because there's a scene where Denzel Washington is like, you know, King Kong ain't got shit on me. And I was like, oh, yeah, because this guy, apparently, I don't know, at the time he had a case, but he won the case. So I was like, yeah, of course he's going to be arrogant, you know, when he comes out of that. If you get away with so many things, yeah, you probably think that you're invincible, you know. Um, but anyways, anyways, so yeah, you know, the, the channel just kept, I just kept making all of these dumb videos and <laughs> it, it was, it was great. I mean, I was also learning a lot about the verse community as well along the way, because I mean, you can't, I guess, I mean, you can't, uh, parody or make fun of certain things if you're not really aware of those things or have a certain understanding of them you know so yeah when i was just looking at all of this i was like well there are people that feel this way and people that feel this way and of course if you can just um you know portray these views in the most extreme and bizarre and you know <laughs> stupid manner probably you know people a couple of people are gonna have a few laughs about it so anyways yeah, so I did that. Anyways, yeah, sorry about that. Well, I had to pause the video. I mean, I had to attend to some damn matter, but it's fine now. 
I guess <laughs> I'm not living in a cave now after all. But yeah, I was walking you guys through these videos. Um, I mean, the next video that I did after that, I think it was Zuma one on one with Hitler and all that. I mean, <laughs> I did the video at the time when a video had the coat, you know, and all his antics in parliament and all that. And I mean, at the time, we were experiencing another wave of xenophobia. So I also spoke about that. There was a FIFA scandal, apparently, I don't know. They don't do, I don't know, we bribe FIFA to host a World Cup. I mean, like, can we do anything in this damn country without having to bribe or being corrupt about it? <laughs> like, really? It, it, yeah, it, it makes me scared, you know? Like, if you think of all the things that we've accomplished as a country, I mean, how would you feel like if they're like, oh, well, no, we just bribed people to get that, you know? Yeah, yeah, that would really suck. But anyways, so yeah, the FIFA scandal was happening and I was like, oh shit, you know, I was a kid. I was in primary school when there was FIFA World Cup. I went to watch the games and all that. I was the happiest kid on the planet only to find out that, well, these motherfuckers, you know, <laughs> they just bought the World Cup to the African soul. But I mean, that... Anyways, yeah, so there was the FIFA scandal. I mean, Bafana Bafana, of course, in spectacular fashion, classic Bafana Bafana style at the time, they were just incredibly underperforming. So I think I made a joke about that as well. And also, still, I mentioned something about Nesfus. I mean, it's also because, I mean, I was someone that was also incredibly, you know, um personally affected by the, the whole Nesfus thing especially in my second year which was 2015 yeah you know being your application being rejected them telling you that oh well you know we received a lot of applications blah 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 or you were missing this there's not enough funding so yeah it was one of you know the recurring themes of the videos and because like i said i wanted the channel to even though you were laughing about certain things, it's also making you aware of some of the things that are happening on campus, you know, the current campus events. Um, but yeah, anyways. Um, what was the next video? Oh yeah, the next video, it was <laughs> the Vetsman update. Yeah, I think I did that because it was quite some time since I posted the video. And because most of the content in the channel, I mean, it was offensive, strong language. And like I said, I, I, I satirized and parodied um, extreme versions, excuse me, of how people, you know, were thinking and feeling on campus. So there were some people who knew that I was the one doing the videos or just general people that would see the videos and they would be like, oh, this is offensive. Why are you doing this? Blah, 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 and all that. So I kind of made a video where, you know, you can see in the video, they're like, yeah, who is this guy? We need to find out who's the vets man. And, you know, and oh, the stuff you're doing is offensive. Um, and also, I also mentioned the EFF thing. Remember, at the time the video was released, I think a week before, uh, there was a brawl, well, a fight, whatever it was, between EFF candidates and Project W at the Great Hall stage. So th that was something that was just incredible. For unfortunately, I wasn't there to experience it. <laughs> I didn't go there, but I mean, yeah. When less did you see fists flying in a, a student SRC election debate, you know? I mean, that shit has never happened I guess, since 2015 or whatever year that was. So yeah, I mean, I spoke about that as well. And also kind of made fun of how students and management were treating the EFF because it was just so unfair. I think it's because they, they could see their potential, basically, you know, because, I mean, they, they just uh, introduced different uh, kind of politics uh, to students, you know. So, I mean, of course, management was like, oh, yeah, these guys are just, you know, violent, aimless, you know, guys who don't know what the hell they're doing. They just want to disrupt and break everything down. So that's what they were kind of feeding to everybody. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I also spoke about that. And then, um, oh, yeah, 
<laughs> there was also something that spoke about how the vetsman, you know, was denied representing his country in whatever, 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 in Paris or something. Yeah, I mean, at the time, there was like a, a food saving conference, competition, whatever. I think it was hosted by Michelle Obama or something in Paris. So I was supposed to go there, but, you know, if you don't have money, you're fucked, basically, Ed Vitz. Especially, yeah, anyways. So, I mean, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I knew about the whole conference slash competition through WCCO, right? Because I was a volunteer there. So I won and I got a seat there, but I had to pay for my flights and all that nonsense. And we tried certain departments in the university to help me go there and all that, but it didn't work out. So I was angry about that. <laughs> I guess that's why I put it there for some reason. Um, but yeah, I mean, but it, now that I think about it, it's, it's weird because I mean, even now I was supposed to go to some stupid conferences in some other fucking European countries, but I couldn't go. So <laughs> thank you, coronavirus, you know, um, or maybe I'm just meant to never leave this damn country. So that's still fine by me. Um, but yeah, you know, um, yeah, that's, 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 that's like the timeline of these videos. I was just having my drink there. Like I said, this is going to progressively get worse and worse based on what I'm drinking right now. <clears throat> yes. So the next video I did after that, it was titled Student Representatives. <laughs> this video made me the most hated guy in, well, let me not mention the political party, but you guys will probably figure it out. But they hated me because, I mean, remember, I worked with the SRC the previous year and the next year, I'm shitting on everybody, every political party on campus, using this student representative part, uh, student representative video, right? So I mean, <laughs> so the video begins with a guy who is using all of these bombast bombastic words and these you know political terms and like his terminology and everything, you know. <laughs> so you can just probably figure out what political party is this guy. You know, from his, you know, his diction, his presentation, his promises also. And the second guy, you know, second guy, all about violence, all about, you know, vandalism and demolition. Uh, <laughs> and like I said, I, I, I was trying to, uh, the video, in fact, was like a big fuck you to the audience. Because I was thinking, well, if you can figure out which party these people represent it means you are part of the problem because that's how we think about each of these parties right so anyways yeah the second guy you know is violent vandalism all of that and then the third guy you know is all about tech computers you know is like a cheese boy kind of guy and he is just not really well, the same way that I guess we felt about that party, which you guys know the third party in the video. But <laughs> anyways, yeah. So, yeah, it's it was like, you know, this guy, he this party doesn't, we feel like as people that are supposed to vote for these people, we feel like they're not really, what's the word? Oh, jeez, English. They're not really connected or they don't fully understand our struggles as students because these are people that are talking about, <clears throat> excuse me, these are people that are talking about iPads, winning a car, giving out earphones when they're campaigning, you know. Whereas, I mean, <laughs> at the time we felt like, well, you know, we have we had bigger problems than just getting earphones, you know. Anyways, and then the fourth party in the video, which a lot of people didn't really get. Because it's a guy who's sleeping and the student who needs help wakes him up and he's like, oh, I need help with exclusion. And the guy is like, nah, I'm not part of anything. 
it's because that it the guy is supposed to represent Dasso. <laughs> so Dasso at in that year they didn't run for elections because even the guy says home home affairs stuff, you know. They didn't run for elections because apparently there was like a big contest about like about who is going to be the chairperson of the party, all of that stuff. They had so many internal issues. I think well, that's what people were saying. They had internal problems in that year and they were not part of you know elections and they didn't play like a, a major role in student politics in that year. So that's why I decided to portray them as people that are just sleeping there and then there's a student who's like, "Dude, can you help me?" and it's like, "No." <laughs> well, I can't really do much for you because, you know, I'm dealing with some home affairs issues. So, anyways, all the best and then he goes back to sleep. So, <laughs> why am I laughing? T- why am I laughing at this? Anyways, um <laughs> I I think I should thank you for listening to this nonsense to this point. Um but yeah, I mean the other thing also um yeah, I mean that's what the video was about. And I mean people that knew that I did that video, especially PYA people for some reason because I mean the video doesn't mention PYA Project W EFF or Daso. It just doesn't. For some reason, PYA people, they were not impressed with the video. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why they were not impressed with the video. I don't know why they were so mad about the video. Because their name is not there. But anyways, let's move to the next video. <laughs> this this is this is just unbelievable. But um, who am I kidding? You guys, are, you're in a lockdown. Coronavirus is going to fucking kill you if you go outside. You better listen to this shit. And... Yeah, what's the time now? This is so bad because, you know, there's no commercial here. There's no advertisement. Like, if you needed any more proof that this is the worst thing you've ever listened or invested your time in, yeah, you know, I don't advertise. What, why, what, what am I going to advertise here? Yeah, I don't know. You guys should, yeah, you guys should fucking tell me what I should advertise for the five people that are, you know... <laughs> That watch my videos so yeah you should tell me what I'll do, I'll do it for free because i support you guys if you're a student and you are a fan of the channel yeah i'll advertise anything for you yeah you know so that i can have a, a break an ad break buy this i make weaves you know i sell socks and all that stuff whatever you guys sell you know um i don't know stationery I don't know, books, secondhand books, textbooks. Yeah, you know. <clears throat> but anyways, let's move to the next video. Um, let me have a drink, though. Because like I said, I said this is going to progressively get worse. So, I mean, if you thought 2020 won't get worse than this, the Redsman is making a podcast, you know, <laughs> and you're listening to it. <laughs> anyways anyways yeah so yeah the next video after that it was the the post elections interview so that video you know i i really enjoyed making that video actually um and i think even at the end of the video i did say it was not my original idea i mean people that were close to me they knew that i was doing those videos and so (laughs) Before I get to the point where someone, okay, someone proposed a video to me, but before I get to that, um, the guys that were helping me with editing and the ideas or the content of some of the videos, we were kind of, we kind of, we we were thinking that, you know, I mean, the channel has to go a different direction, you know, so we tried out. Um, you know, hidden cameras and pranking people and all that. We were just trying it, just just for control. Yeah, well. So we try that, and we do it at Bram Park. We prank a couple of people. <laughs> oh God, I had to. It it was like uh, a prank show that was influenced by impractical jokers. You know, so someone dares you to do something ridiculous, 
and you have to do it <laughs> you know so yeah it was kind of an impractical jokers esque kind of prank show that we were trying out and luckily i mean the guy who was helping me with this thing he was doing media and film and all that stuff you know great guy great guy he has been a great influence in my life so yeah we try to do these things he dares me to go to this beautiful lady incredible oh she she looks so beautiful anyways so he says to me <laughs> so i have to go to her and ask her i mean it was not a, it was not an, an original joke but you know i had to go to her and be like oh you know i would like to find out where is the friend zone because someone said you know uh, i'm gonna meet them at the friend zone or something i can't remember it was like what five six years ago anyways so I go to this lady, I do all this nonsense and whatever. She laughs, she was cool about it and all that. The video, the footage was great and all that. But of course, you know, we were dumb. We never asked consent for all these people to be in this video. So we were like, ah, but we can't put this on YouTube, you know. So, but anyways, we go to the Matrix around five when people are going to have, you know, supper in the dining hall. We prank this other guy that I know. He was my former high school mate's friend or something, or they were classmates, whatever. They were doing engineering together. So we prank this guy. <laughs> I send my friend to go to this guy and, you know, and say to him, you know, uh, I am a psychic, you know. <laughs> I know you're studying engineering. I know your name is so-and-so. I know you stay in this residence and blah, blah, blah. And this guy is like, dude, what the fuck? He looks around. He doesn't see anyone that he knows. So we bullshit this guy. We bullshit this guy. We ask him about his, you know, his sex life. And he confesses that, no. <laughs> it was funny, but it was sad at the same time, you know, because this guy is like, no, I don't have a girlfriend. I, you know, I, I don't remember the full events. It was a long time ago, people. So five people that are listening to this podcast <laughs> anyways i mean the poor guy confesses he he just yo he speaks his heart out you know he confesses no guys i don't have a girlfriend you know stuff like that i don't I can't even remember what we were saying to him <laughs> i feel bad <laughs> so i come out and i'm just like dude we're just fucking with you we're doing this for my channel <laughs> and it's like dude he begs me he's like dude I've seen a couple of those videos. Please don't post me those videos because, you know, you're going to fuck my life up. So, no, I agree. I'm just like, no, man, don't worry. I'm not going to do that. I'm not an asshole, you know. Well, I am, but I'm not that bad, you know. This is before, well, let me not say this. This is going to be offensive, but you know what? Fuck it. You guys tuned into this podcast, you know. This was before, you know, hype, super suicide days adverts i want to talk about that i know you're going to say what i'm saying is insensitive but i mean <clears throat> we all know that the suicide rates on campus progressively increased over the years right but anyways i didn't want to be the guy on the suicide note of the guy that hey this guy posted me in this video you know and the whole world <laughs> of vits knows that i don't have a girlfriend or something like that so i didn't want the guy to put me in a note anyways i agreed no man don't worry about it we won't post you so we had like tons of footage that we couldn't use which was fine you know um anyways a few weeks later i think or a month later i meet this guy with the guy that i know because he's classmates with someone that i know these guys come up to me and they're like, you know, we have, you know, we have a, <laughs> we have a video idea for you. And I'm like, yeah, come on, guys, what's up? Because they're like, yeah, you haven't posted anything in a long time. Yeah, I'm so I'm just like, yeah, what's up? They suggested the Netherlands talk show video where the guy is interviewing people that have been affected by um, medical mistakes or whatever. It's like people that had voice operations but you know the doctor fucked up or something like that i don't know <laughs> the doctor drank hennessy before the operation <laughs> and then the guy's voice he was like <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry anyways 
I mean, <laughs> anyways, yeah. So I didn't know about that fucking video. So this guy is just like, yeah, man. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, you know, there's this video about this talk show host who just can't keep it together <laughs> when he's around people that have had, you know, catastrophic medical, you know, incidents, medical accidents, whatever you want to call it, you know. I mean, English is not our mother, our father tongue, so anyways. So I tell these guys that, you know what, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to do something about it. And these guys are like, cool, man. Fine. I watched this video. <laughs> the video is just a combination of... <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my God. I hope my voice will never get messed up. Anyways, <clears throat> the video is just a combination of this guy, you know, he's trying to keep it together. He is just, he is trying to not laugh, right? I mean, the subject matter is not funny. These are people, these are people that, I mean, they, they these were accidents. These were medical, you know, I mean, doctors, the hospitals fucked up and all that, and they have to leave the rest of their lives <clears throat> paralyzed and sounding a certain way because, you know, doctors fucked up when they were doing these operations. But you cannot help but laugh at the, the, <laughs> at the raw and honest laughter of this guy because this guy just cannot keep it together. <laughs> Apparently the guy said, I mean, he never did a practice interview with the with the with the victims right so he said i mean it was the first time he's hearing the voices of these people that had a voice surgery gone bad you know anyways so i mean it was a viral video so <clears throat> so i take the video and you know <laughs> i contextualize it in the elections that were happening on campus at the time you know um at the time i mean you know daso project w pya they contested elections right um i mean and of course i mean yeah pya i think they won those elections at the time um but you know what you know what i think i should take this time and dedicate in fact this entire first episode of this podcast <laughs> to all the medical students don't fucking drink black label while you're studying medicine because you're gonna fuck up people's voices like <laughs> people did in this guy's video i mean come on how scary and how weird and how funny can anyone's voice sound after having uh, a throat or whatever laryngitis whatever fucking medical terminology you guys call whatever you use for your voice box or whatever i don't know i'm not a fucking doctor like how bad can it get like really it's like like i was so confused when i was watching this damn thing it's like did you get an engineer or did you get a teacher to fucking perform a throat operation on this guy you know so medical students out there i know how you guys like drinking beer you know both male and female this is not a sexist statement i'm trying to be politically correct you know i mean hey hey <laughs> the name of the channel itself is called the vets man so hey hey maybe the word man itself is offensive now but hey but guys you know please stay away from black label and whatever you guys fucking drink at medical school the fucking methane whatever i don't know what you guys drink i don't know yeah i haven't yeah went through all of this stuff in a long time but please people shouldn't sound like grouch in <laughs> Sesame Street. <laughs> oh, they shouldn't sound like Russian villains in Hollywood movies, you know, <laughs> because you guys, I don't know, you, you drank Black Label, you know, while you were at medical school. So please. Anyways, um, but yeah, I mean, the video, <laughs> the video was pretty great. I mean, and also I kind of made fun of Project W's campaign strategies. I mean, really earphones. I mean, like, can Project W be so disconnected <laughs> to what the majority of students need, you know? It's like these people, they were just catering to like, I don't know, the fucking 15 people that hang out at the Matrix, 
uh, at the cafeteria of the Matrix. But what do they call those chairs? Oh, God. You see now? Now you people fucking know I'm not a fucking cool kid. Oh, God, this is bad. Anyways, exactly. It's like they were catering to the fucking people that were just smoking hookah pipe and, you know, fucking vaping <laughs> outside the Matrix. And everyone else is just like, but, dude, yeah, I mean, the rest of us don't vape and don't need earphones, <laughs> you know. We need, uh, you know, shelter because we are sleeping in libraries and all that stuff. But, you know, anyways. <laughs> Why am I sitting on Project W right now? Anyways, I'm, you know, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> yeah, that's a video that I did, you know, um, in response to the election campaigns. But of course, it, it was suggested by those guys um, and the guy that I pranked. So, you know, oh yeah, of course, the next video, it was a management video. And that video, I mean, you know what, for me, it's a bit weird because when I went back to watch all of these videos, I actually got depressed. And I was surprised that you motherfuckers commented that this was funny. And I was like, wait, do I have a mental illness problem? Because when I watched all of these videos from the first video, from like the Nokendo EOH party video to the mix video, I just got depressed. <laughs> and when I was looking at the comments, everyone was like, oh shit, this is funny. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> does this mean that I've been entertaining psychopaths or maybe there's something wrong with me? But anyways, anyways, you fucking guys. Um, but also, I mean, since I don't have commercials or anything i mean yeah because only five people watch my videos so because i don't have advertisement or anything i should thank you for <laughs> listening to this podcast for this long <clears throat> anyways the next video it was the management video it's when hitler is like angry against management and all that and guess what when I was watching the video, I realized this is the video that documented the beginning of FISMA's fall. Because the video spoke about the demolition of PKV. It spoke about outsourced workers, the increases in fees. Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have drank this damn thing. Excuse me for that. Anyways. So yeah, I was surprised. I mean, the video spoke about, like I said, demolition of PKV, outsourcing. It spoke about the increase in fees. I think this is what's, what, what, what is it? 2015? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Increase in fees, uh, res fees, tuition fees, everything. Like every kind of fee that you pay at university was increased in 2015, you know. And it was, it, it kind of uh, tried to represent the planning and the beginning of FISMA's fall. Because, I mean, if you watch the video, they're, they're in a map and they're talking about the tunnel that separates West and East campus. How are they going to, you know, organize a protest and all that stuff, you know? I mean, of course, clearly, <laughs> I was trying to rally people to go out, you know, and support the movement of FISMA's fall. And, you know... And also, I mean, it kind of mentioned how they are running the, 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 the higher education institutions as if they are private businesses. And of course, if you are a fan of the channel, you pick that up because I also reference the same idea <clears throat> in the last video, the Mika's video, the one that talks about Mika's being closed, you know, but we'll get to that later. But also, I mean, it documented the beginning of the FISMA for our protest, which was pretty cool, you know. Um, <laughs> and the other thing in the video, it talks about how EFF um, was punished, you know, by the university. But, I mean, we all later found out that they were punished out of a rule that expired, I don't know, 50 years ago. <laughs> If if you needed more proof <laughs> on how the institution hated in the EFF, they they used a nineteen uh, you know nineteen thirties <laughs> rule when Vitz was like I don't know what ten years old or something like that. 
<laughs> and they were like, oh, yes, in the 1920s, they said, we don't want the EFF, <laughs> you know. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. You're not supposed to laugh at your own jokes. This is not a joke. I'm just, you know. I'm actually just going through and just reminiscing through the bullshit that you guys, you guys, you are the people that commented on the videos. You said this is funny. <laughs> you said this is funny. Like, why did you say that? Because, uh, come on. L like, you can even l look at my cover of my podcast. It's a dumb picture. You are the people that looked at, like, you know what? It's fine. Let me stop making fun of my, you know, my five, you know, <laughs> my five supporters, my five video watchers and listeners. But guys, you know, I know right now you're looking for work because you've been at vets for more than five years. <laughs> it's, it's approaching 10 years now. You know, I'm going to tell you at the end of the podcast what am I doing? Because you're probably thinking, how the fuck is someone who was at vets in 2014 still at vets right now? Calm the fuck down. Anyways. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm walking through the I'm walking you through the management video now. Yeah, because like I said, it was it documented the beginning of Christmas Fall. But also remember in the video, like when I was that's why I was saying I got so depressed when I was watching these videos because I I really tried to document most of what I thought were important issues in student politics at the time, because even though the videos were, were just making fun of the situation, but remember in the video, I also mentioned the demolition of PKV. Well, if you just got to this last year, you don't know what the fuck is PKV. I'm sorry, but now you're going to find out. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Oh my God. Can I make this podcast any worse than it is right now? Like the one person who is listening to this, can you please comment? <laughs> can you please comment and say how terrible this is right now? But anyways, thanks for listening. I mean, I hope this isn't the last thing you will listen to before you die of coronavirus. <coughs> coronavirus. Coronavirus, shit, it's getting real. Okay, okay. Shout out to Cardi B. <clears throat> Anyways, so the video, I mean, the video spoke about the demolition of PKV, the outsourcing of workers, the increase in fees, and of course, I mean, you know, beginning of Christmas fall and all of that stuff, you know. Um, but anyways. The next video was about the academic year, you know. <laughs> and I I kind of I I divided the video into four blocks basically, you know. Of course, beginning of the year, you can see someone kicking Mr. Bean in the balls, right? And Mr. Bean is like, "Yeah, I got this." <laughs> it's kind of like how we all felt about 2020 <laughs> at the beginning of the year. We were all like, oh, this is my year. Your prophet, your prophet told you, oh, this is your year of success, really? <laughs> How have you been successful spending half of the year under your blankets masturbating? Like, really? <clears throat> That's your progress? <laughs> you have made five of your tissues pregnant. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how. <laughs> you know what? Okay, I'm sorry. But really, <laughs> your prophet told you this is your year. <laughs> if you're a, even if you're a guy or a female, I know I have female listeners. Yeah, fuck you all, you fucking, uh, you know, sexist, misogynist guys out there. Hey, it's 2020. I have to be practically correct. <clears throat> Forgive me, gents. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know, uh, yeah, you know. You were just busy, you know, <laughs> yeah, meeting yourself halfway. Thanks, 2020, you know, so exactly, you know, the academic year, it was about the fact that 
beginning of the year you think, oh yeah, I'm in, I'm in charge. I'm in charge if, you know, if I can, you know, quote, you know, comrades, I'm in charge. I'm in charge. So you thought that you were in charge, but you know, it happened that <laughs> the year fucks you over. I mean, I think in the, in the, in the, in the second block of the video, you're getting fucked up. First test, CDU is like, hi, this is too much. And of course, <laughs> we know how we react with CCDU, but I mean, we will engage with the CCDU idea later because I addressed the CCTU idea more in the last video. <clears throat> but anyways, so that's what happened, you know, <laughs> in the academic year. But I still feel like 2020 is, uh, maybe maybe I should have made <laughs> a video about how 2020 has been. I mean, fuck, isn't it June now? Is it June? I'm living in a cave, so. Oh, okay, okay, it's the 19th of June. <laughs> You see, so I mean, I mean, anyways, yeah, <laughs> the year has been messed up. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's incredible, like really. So I mean, <laughs> the, look, you know what? I won't pretend I understand my audience. Fuck that. I'm not a. I'm not a fucking YouTube influ. I'm not an influencer. I'm a fucking bullshitter on YouTube. I make parody videos. So you guys are going <laughs> to, yeah, the five people that are listening to this, you will, <laughs> we will talk and we will talk about how you guys have been spending your lockdown. You know, <clears throat> I wouldn't pretend that, you know, <laughs> everyone has just been on YouTube, Netflix and fucking watching porn <laughs> the whole time. But anyways, um, <clears throat> What was my next video after the depressing video? It was the I wish I never came to vids syndrome. That video, I liked that video so much. It was the last time I was at Esalen. Yeah, surprise, surprise, motherfuckers. I stayed at Esalen. The most... <sighs> Everyone who stayed at vids thought that building was in some in fact you guys thought that we were you know uh living homeless in park station and we were helping people carry bags yes yes don't shake your head that's what you thought about Esalen. everyone thought that oh these were the original you know the little run and get people from vets that's what you guys thought about us because we were staying in Hillbrow. <laughs> I mean, it used to stink <laughs> when you just entered Constitution Hill. <laughs> it would stink all the way to Esalen, you know. And uh, wasn't it convenient for Vets when someone shot a bullet from the next fucking building, Florence building, to Vets, to the, the Vets Esalen building? So the the bullet passed through like someone's room to the corridor to the next room, <clears throat> and they were like, "Oh yeah, this place is not safe." So we will, we will relocate you guys, you know. And the house committee at the time they were like, "Yeah, let's relocate," you know. And I got elected the same year <laughs> that people were relocating. So the next year when we were being relocated to the new place we were part of the house committee and the building we moved into was halfway under construction <laughs> so half the building was under construction and yeah you can imagine the outrage of students you know but anyways anyways why am i talking <laughs> why am i talking about this for me the video made so much the video i connected with the video so much because I had a girlfriend at the time, you know, she was from UJ and everyone from Vits, they had a certain understanding of how people from UJ are. <laughs> and of course it was bullshit. It was wrong because I had a girlfriend from UJ because I was like, no, 
But people from UJ are not like this because I've been at UJ so many times. I have a girlfriend from there, motherfuckers. But hey, you know, I'm a VTC. I'm in charge, you know. <laughs> so anyways. <laughs> anyways, anyways. Maybe that's why that girl left me. Because <laughs> I'm an asshole. I'm from VITS. Anyways. Yeah, so what happens is that <clears throat> we are spending the last year in that building in Hillbrook because VITS has vowed to close a building on grounds of safety, right? How caring was Vitz at that time, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, really? Has Vitz ever cared more? Anyways, these motherfuckers, they say, yeah, they're going to close this building. So it's like the last year. <clears throat> Guess what happens? Because I'm stupid, I mean, I don't have Instagram, I mean... <laughs> my picture is on the you know the cover of the podcast so if you think i like if if you can see if i look like that do you think i deserve instagram or twitter <laughs> you know anyways <clears throat> so apparently there's a meme war happening on facebook and twitter whatever whatever you know between vets and uj so I'm thinking, ah, oh, come on, we have to be part of the meme more. You know, we must must contribute, Chief. You know, that's what I'm thinking. So what <laughs> so what I do, I get together a couple of guys and then <laughs> we do a sketch comedy video, you know. And also it's to commemorate the fact that this is our last day in this building. And we shot a lot of sketches in that building but we couldn't pre we couldn't release them on the channel i will get to that i will get to the part of the unmade sketches but anyways <clears throat> so <laughs> we make the i may i never ca i wish i never came to vets sketch so the wish i never came to vets sketch it was like it was kind of the best timetable version of you know the channel so anyways, but the memo was happening. So I thought, you know what? The, I had a lecturer, by the way, I did geography. <laughs> yeah, BSc. So I, in my geography class, I had a lecturer who taught me geography in my first year, but he left to start to lecture at UJ, right? Anyways, this is relevant because I always thought that I always wanted to make fun of the fact that Vitz thinks that, you know, they are the greatest institution ever in the continent of Africa. And of course, if you're from Vitz, look, people that watch these dumb videos, <clears throat> they go to Vitz. So you know what we call UJ at Vitz, right? Exactly. University down the road. Even the lecturers, the management, yeah yeah i know this i know this trust me the management yeah even the vice chancellors themselves they call uj the university down the road so i wanted to make fun of the fact that we actually believe that we are the greatest institution ever in the continent of africa so i wanted to make fun of that that's why if you are not doing well at vets you can just get pills that are written, well, I wish I never went to UJ. I never went to it. Like, yeah, I wish I never came to Vets on all that stuff. And as long as you can make fun of UJ, it means you will do well academically. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this bullshit that I'm making right now, maybe it's getting to me, but you know what? You are the one who are who is fucking listening to this damn podcast. So it's not my fault. Anyways, yeah, you know. So <laughs> Yeah, so I made that. There was a big debate on the Vets Just Kidding page because they shared our video. And it made me happy because I always wanted us to really address <clears throat> the fact that, oh, if you go to Vets, oh, it means you're arrogant, you think you're smart, but it's not true, you know? But I wanted us to address that because when I tell people that I'm from Vets, oh, they think, oh my God, you think you know everything and, you know. So, excuse me. Fuck, I should stop drinking this damn thing. <laughs> Anyways, so 
when I made that video, I really wanted us to kind of think about how us as VTs, even though we want people to support whatever that we do, or even though we want to support whatever people that are doing, we should also think about how we think and talk about other people in other institutions, you know. So that's why I did that video. Um, <laughs> there were people who got it because in the big conversation on Facebook, on the vets just kidding, there were people who were like, ah, don't you get it? Because <laughs> the video is trying to show how Vitsis actually believe that, you know, they are the greatest university, they are smart and all that. So there are people that got it, but everyone else was just mad. Oh yeah, you know, Vitsi, or whatever, whatever, you think you're smart, but anyways, fuck that. <laughs> Let's go to the next video. The next video I made, it was a Narcos parody. And also, I mean, it spoke to me. <clears throat> the video spoke about police brutality. It spoke about Christmas fall also. Um, and of course, the famous blade in the Monday coat of students must fall. So, <laughs> so I kind of created an idea that, you know, there was a, a students must fall cartel. That was made of ministers, you know, vice chancellors. If I mean, you've seen the video. Well, if you haven't, go watch the fucking video. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, the video was about that. and But also, I wanted to also highlight the fact that why are, are we protesting for Fismos Fall? You know, why are we doing that? And of course, I mean, if you watch the video, it's about this guy's journey from being an activist in high school dealing with police and hostel managers when he was in the hostel but ultimately having to deal with you know the state when he's at university so yeah you can see all of those things you know but i mean even though all of these things were just comedy and bullshit and just trying to make people you know happy and laugh and laugh at themselves you know and bullshit everyone you can you can see the pattern basically i mean you guys are at university you're not dumb so <clears throat> <laughs> why why am i doing this why, why anyways anyways let's go to the the last video which speaks so much to me you know out of all the videos i've ever done you know to me, the last video, the black and white video about the closing of Mika's, to me, it speaks a lot to me, you know. Um, but yeah, let me walk you through it. <laughs> you motherfuckers are unbelievable. It, uh, and I know you're probably thinking, oh shit, yeah, it spoke so much to him because he used to drink at Mika's and they closed Mika's. No, fuck no. It, spe <laughs> it speaks so much to me because of the subject matter that I tried to fucking put in the video. Okay, you're smart, that's why. <laughs> oh God, you know what, why, 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 am I, why am I pushing away the five people that are listening to this podcast right now? Okay, don't go away. This, yeah, this is, of course, this, I said it's the last video. I know, okay, anyways. But for me, I mean, it, 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 it was really important for me because, well, unknowingly, trust me, I'm not the smartest guy on the planet. <laughs> if, you th if, if after listening to this podcast for like an hour and 10 minutes already, if you thought, oh, yeah, the channel was like a very smart, uh, you know, thought and design from a couple of feet no no it wasn't no <laughs> it wasn't it was just a bunch of fucking dumb guys trying to piss off everybody and make fun of everyone but you know it has become difficult to make all these videos now because i mean everybody's always pissed about everything if you're wearing the color black, oh, that's offensive. You're wearing white, oh, that's offensive. You're wearing pink, oh, are you suggesting that that is a feminine color? Oh, that is offensive. I'm offended. You must apologize to me. You must be fired. Oh, you must be expelled. You know, anyways. But we'll talk about that. We'll talk, this is not like, this is not the only episode, episode of this channel. So, 
you know, I mean, you want to have a couple of episodes of this podcast, trust me. Anyways, going back <laughs> to what I was trying to say, uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be flagged on YouTube. It's going to get cancelled. If I'm still a vet student, which is highly unlikely, right? <laughs> I'm probably going to get expelled. Um, but anyways, I will tell you what I want to talk about in the next episode because... <laughs> yeah anyways yeah so i mean this video for me the black and white video the last video that i made <clears throat> it, it it spoke so much to me because i i wanted to really highlight the effects of people that experience fismas fall you know it spoke about how people that were part of fismas fall were affected and i'm one of those people and a lot of those people that were excluded academically they were excluded financially they struggled a lot with a lot of things, even in their studies, you know. And also I highlighted the attitudes, attitudes that students had, have even now towards CCDU, you know, especially male students. I mean, you know, CCDU is like, ah, chief, you know, you're weak, that thing, uh, you know, it's for softies, it's for women, that thing, you know, all of that stuff. So I tried to highlight the fact that People that had like full blown PTSD, obviously, and versions of that, and just people that were also affected by how Fismas Fall happened. There are people that are, who turned to drinking, alcoholism, and all that stuff, you know. And of course, where did they drink? <laughs> they drank at Mickey's, you know. So, <laughs> but of course, I mean, at the time I did the video, Mickey's was closed. So, I mean, a lot of people that were Mickey's people, they were pissed off that Mickey's was closed, you know. And there's even a quote in the video that says, you know, the guys, they take a toast. I should take one right now, actually, even though they're open again. The guy says, Mickey's, a place where comrades meet. And that is an actual quote <laughs> from Mickey's. I mean, these guys, they have a fucking green sign written, a place where comrades meet on top of their damn tavern. So they were kind of pandering to all the comrades that would go and drink there, you know. But anyway, so the, uh, yeah, even though the video is just nonsense and is bullshit, I mean, you watch these guys going through so much. And one character in the video is like, why can't we just call these people and tell them that the Mickey's is closed? And they're like, no, they must hear it in person. So it's also just making fun of the fucking way coat comrades, right? How these people always take whatever they're doing seriously. Because some things that they do, some traditions are just nonsense. But of course... <laughs> They take them seriously. They're like, oh, no, this is tradition. Oh, this is how things are done. So the guy does that. <clears throat> but if you were smart, like me, <laughs> here am I patting myself in the back right now. Anyways, the other thing that you probably notice in the video is that the main character who is supposed to deliver the message to the... Com is, is del well, I'm calling them comrades, but basically... The video to me was a dedication to the Fismas for veterans. Fismas for veterans as in people that, you know, <clears throat> they played an integral role in the planning and the execution of the Vets Fismas for movement. And I know a lot of those people, you know, so I was kind of dedicating that video to them to say, you know, we know what you guys have been through and we know what are your struggles and we know the difficulties that you guys have now you know but anyways so what happens in the video if you look at if you look at it closely this the the young main character he is going to deliver a message right to the fismas for veterans that hey mickey's is closed <laughs> right yeah so but along the way when he gets to main campus and when he grins Anke and all that at main campus um <clears throat> He meets like a staff member and the staff member is like, don't you remember me? 
and it's like, oh yeah, I know you from legal office. And then, you know, they keep talking and the guy's like, oh yeah, uh, yeah, what did you get after fees must fall? And he's like, I got suspended for 12 months. And he asks uh, the staff member, what did you get? And it's like, yeah, I got a promotion. <laughs> you know, it was hard to resist. I'm part of management now, you know, anyways. Um, yeah, and, but... The people that, when I released that video that spoke to me, I kept telling them to look at how the dead bodies are, are handled around the video, right? The first time we meet um, the professor, right, who is outside main campus, there are two dead bodies. And the way they're handling them, it's just, it's just like they just drop them on top of the car and everyone doesn't, they don't, they don't even address them. So the only thing that what I was trying to portray there is how suicide, because those people are like at the bottom of the building. So I was trying to show that, well, you know, we've had so many suicides on campus and the way that there have been so many people committing suicide because of the events and circumstances they find themselves in on campus, the community itself, has kind of become numb and, you know, um, actively unaware of the issues that are making people kill themselves, you know. So the way, if, if, if you watch the whole video, you will constantly see how no one really cares about all these dead bodies, you know, around. Even when the guy gets to main campus and all that, there are like piles and piles of dead bodies, but no one cares, you know. So, but anyways, <laughs> I know you're probably laughing. Oh shit, is he turning pages right now? Yes, motherfuckers, I made notes because I care about you, because I care about this damn channel. <laughs> and because I've never made a podcast before. So, you know, give me a break. Um, but of course... Like any typical YouTube video, uh, I'm going to have a second episode. I'm going to make it and say, oh, yeah, it, to, to all of you guys that were requesting a second episode, all of the people that were asking me to do this video, of course, yes, I'm going to do that. <laughs> yeah, of course, I'm going to do that because, yeah, I have the most active channel on the planet. You know, everyone is always requesting me to do a certain video. So yeah, I'm going to do that, you know, and you know what, you know what, because I take myself seriously, I am going to try out some fucking comedy material with you guys. And, you know, I don't really care. I mean, it's just five of you guys, five of you people, you know, it's probably one lady and four guys, <laughs> because I mean, I know you probably won't believe this, but I mean, the channel itself, I kind of, when I discovered that, you know what, I should probably, when I thought that I should probably make this, you know, uh, a satirical parody of its time, I was like, yeah, you know what, I should make sure that this is as more of a product of how the culture is at the time, you know? So, I mean, in a lot of these videos, <laughs> you will pro you have probably seen all the connections that, all the bullshit, all the nonsense. <clears throat> it's 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 making fun of the race culture that all these people were trying to promote, and also the kind of campus culture and campus politics that at the time we were trying to have, you know. But anyways, anyways, that's the end. I'm going to bullshit you guys on the second episode. Even if there's one person listening to this shit, I don't care. I mean, I know it's the worst, but come on. Who are we kidding here? You don't have anything to do, okay? If you are at home, oh, I don't know, at five o'clock, you're going to have to go get cattle back from, you know, the field. If you're in Jehovah, I don't know. Yeah, you're probably watching Ozado and uh, what are these things that you guys are watching? Uh... My perfect wedding, all of that, all of that stuff, right? Exactly. So, <laughs> please continue listening to this nonsense. 
and uh, I'm going to make the second episode. And like I said, I'm going to be even bolder. I'm going to try some, I'm going to tell you guys some stories. I'm going to try out um, some comedy routines that I've had for so many years. But, you know, I mean, I'm not even doing arts or anything. My parents forced me to do science. I guess maybe because they never thought I was funny. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to try out some comedy routines from way back and also the ones I've developed over the years, you know. So, if this is bad, um, <laughs> I guess I'm promising you that the second episode is going to be better. Um, but yeah, thanks for chiming in, guys. And uh, yeah, you know, share this with your friends. Tell them that, yeah, you remember that guy who would make stupid videos when I was doing my, I don't know, second year, third year, first year? Yeah, he's still alive. Um, but I think I was vague enough to not tell you if I'm adverts or not. <laughs> and fuck you for asking yourself if I'm adverts or not. So, I know, it's been almost 10 years. So, I want to tell you in the second episode, cliffhanger, yes. That's what you do when, you know, you're directing a series. You give people a cliffhanger. Yeah, the cliffhanger is, am I still adverts or not? <laughs> As if you guys care. <laughs> anyway, this is terrible. Um, but yeah, you know, <clears throat> I just thought that the first episode has to be about, you know, the history of the channel, the ideas behind the sketches. Um, but also, I mean, I really want to thank you guys um you know yeah for, i mean for watching my videos for giving me feedback for commenting i mean yeah it's been incredible so thank you so much guys i'm gonna upload another video real soon trust me um yeah enjoy it please give me feedback on this one as well <laughs> i've never done this before so um but please stay safe and you know yeah keep yourselves healthy Take care of your family, take care of yourselves and your girlfriends and your boyfriends and whatever, whatever, you know. Uh, I mean, if you were smart enough, you probably know that this is not a channel that is centered around, you know, bigotry and homophobia. But, you know, it's 2020. <laughs> the fact that the channel was called Vets Man is probably offensive. <laughs> yeah, because it's men in the title. Maybe I should change it to Vets Person. But anyways, what am I doing? What am I doing? Anyways, guys, be safe. Enjoy yourselves. And uh, yeah, see you in the second episode, <laughs> which is probably going to be even worse than this. So you mother I hope you motherfuckers are going to enjoy this. And like I said, if you want me to advertise it, I will do it for free because, I mean, there's only five people listening to this. So send me whatever. You have my email, you have my, just comment on the podcast or whatever video. I'm going to look, I'm going to check it out. I, I want to support you guys. If you're making, you know, songs, music, movies, whatever, I want to support you guys. I've always tried to do that, you know. Um, and I'm going to talk more about the unmade sketches and videos and short films of the channel that we wanted to do uh, in the second episode. And you guys are going to see more of how I actually wanted the channel, you know, to promote, you know, um, ca uh, campus entrepreneurs, you know. But we'll talk about that. So, <laughs> yeah, to all the five guys, five people, five of you guys, you, you better listen to this so that <laughs> I can make the second episode because I've tried to come up with a lot of material for the second episode. So, you know. Be safe, guys. Thanks.